So let's go ahead and figure out how we can capture the screen, create a screen capture. This is a brief and easy video to follow, so let's jump right to it. So if we want to capture our screen, literally take a picture of our screen so that we can use it in a document or an email or show somebody kind of what we're experiencing, it's really easy with Windows. And what we're going to do is go right here down to the bottom and we're just going to type in SNP. Now, SNP is one way. Now, there's other tools that you can find within Windows. Today, we're going to use the snipping tool. But let's say you don't remember SNP. Let's say you just remember, oh, I want to take a clip, right? Uh, a snapshot of that. Now, I don't know if it works with Snap. It sure does. So you can type in SNP, clap, um, SNP, um, clip, or snap. And it's going to come up with the snipping tool right here. Just click on the snipping tool. Now when the snipping tool comes up, we just see a video box here, excuse me, a capture box. So <clears throat> let's move this in and let's just say we want to capture, well here, let's move something in the screen that we can use. So let's say I want to capture my voice being recorded right now inside of Adobe Audition. So here, I'm just going to click on this right here where it says new. Now you have multiple modes within here. The default is rectangular snip and I use that almost all the time. So here I'm just gonna click on new and notice that my screen turns a little bit gray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see the plus sign there. Just gonna go ahead and capture that. Now notice that the capture comes within its window. So you can see here, this is the original right here. And then now I've captured this within the snipping tool. So we're gonna adjust that so you can see it just a little bit better. And there we go. And so here within now, I can take and highlight anything I want. I can draw on it, right? I can even write if I can write well with my mouse. This is my mouse. But if I had a tablet, it works a lot better. Okay, so all of these things, right, I can do within SNP. Now, let's say that I need to do a little more detailed. Let's say I don't want certain things on this. So I'm gonna click right here where it says edit this with 3D paint. Now you're gonna notice here, it's gonna come up right here with 3D paint. Now with 3D paint, I have a lot of other capabilities. Notice here that I can erase things and literally erase things that I annotated. But let's say that this was some text I didn't want on the screen. I can eliminate all of that. So, and you could do it anywhere within the image. So here, I don't want this. So now it just blanks it out. I can also, of course, do different things, change different colors. I can do all types of different functions uh, within this tool as well. So you just wanna, there's also a, um, where I can add text to the tool. So here, I can just type in some text and I probably should have picked a different color, but you can see where it says test there. So there's lots of functionality. Now, when I get done with this, I can just go and save this information. And there's lots of other options here that I can do. But if I go here, I can hit save as, and I can save it as an image or a video or a project file. Usually I just save it as a PNG file. So I'm just going to hit save here to save it as a PNG file. And then I can do the same thing, by the way. So then I can close this. And I can do the same thing here with my snipping tool. I can hit File, Save. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that as well. So you can see there, Save. And then if I go back to my Downloads directory, so let me go over there real quick and show you those two items. So you can see right here, there's two items here. If I double click on that one, you can see this is the original capture from the snipping tool. If I go to temp snip, now you can see my adjusted capture here uh, within the other tool, the 3D uh, drawing tool. So lots of great features found within for free within the snipping tool found within the Windows environment.